So this is the first part of my 8-bit computer um, and it's the memory module. So there's the, there's the actual memory just here. It's um, 8K um, or 8 times, 64 times 8 bits. Um, and that's obviously where the memory is stored. We've, we've put some other stuff on here as well. So these, these devices here are essentially just buffers. I believe they're 74HC245s and they're quite neat because they have all the inputs on on one side and all the outputs on another side. Um, I've also put on here some um, dip switches. So there's dip switches here and here. These are These are the address bus dip switches for programming and these are the data bus um, bits for programming. Um, and there's a programming button here which basically puts it into program mode and that enables these dip switches and disables these dip switches will be which I'll get to in a minute. Um, I've put some little connectors down the bottom here and above. Um, this, this one up here is essentially the address bus connector and I've got some ribbon cable on order which I can then use to link that to other parts of the computer. Um, and this bit here, um, well this enables me to get on the inside of the memory and the, the idea will be to ultimately do away with the dip switches for programming and use uh, an Arduino or something like that. Um, and then I can, again I can just use a bit of ribbon cable, plug it into there and have direct access to the memory that way. And again on the other side we've got the, the data bus which is this bit here, uh, which is going off to, um, or is, is the output essentially, or in, input or output for that matter, uh, for the memory. And the, again, this on this side of the chip, we've got the programming. There's two loose leads, um, this one and this one on the data bus. Uh, the top one is output enable, so that basically connects the one side of the bus the one side of the, the chip to the other side of the chip um, and the other one is the directional so this one is the direction so whether the data is going that way onto the bus or coming from the bus now on the memory on, on sorry on the addressing um, chip there's only the output enable so it only sort of allows stuff in or, or not the direction is, is one directional it only comes from the address bus into the memory and that's because memory doesn't write addresses um, it doesn't provide any information for addresses at all it's purely one it's purely write only so at the top here the top here is basically monitoring it's just it's just there so we can see what's on the buses um, so up here we've got the the, the LED indicators for the data bus um, and a little chip here which I think is a 74HC244. Um, I these these chips are basically horrible in terms of their pinout. Um, hence why you can see the, the the cables are strewn all over the place uh, because half the inputs are on one side and half the outputs are on the same side, and then the other half are up. It's just. Um, if I'd thought about it a bit more before I sort of decided to use those chips, I probably wouldn't have used them. I probably would have just used some more of these ones, um, to be honest, but such is life. Um, and then we've got, uh, this is the address bus. Again, it just shows the state of the address bus. Um, and another one of those chips, which is buried under the wires. And there's more wires on this side, because I've also got a dip set dip switches here uh, for when the computer isn't in program mode. I can set the actual address um, on that's on the address bus, which then accesses whichever memory location down here. Um, and these are this this dip switch set of dip switches is isolated from these dip switches, or well these ones specifically, so that you can't um, use them both at the same time, because obviously that would cause a, a clash on the bus. So I suppose I should switch it on and see if it works, because I haven't actually done that yet. Um, so the power switch for the power is there. 
Well, I suppose it's good that some LEDs have come on. Um, we're not in program mode, and we know we're not in program mode because the LEDs not on. Um, so I can just flick the little switch here for an address. So let's just pick an address. Oh. Um, well, I've noticed the first problem, and the first problem is... Yeah, okay. So what I've done is I've got the dip switches along here. And when I push in that one, that should bring on the third LED... Oops, I pushed that too hard. The third LED along... Um, and it doesn't, it picks up the seventh LED along. So I've got the um, the most significant bits here and the least significant bits mixed up. So I've got a block of four in the least significant bits and they're lighting up on the LEDs on the most significant bits and vice versa. Um, that's kind of annoying because it means this rat's nest of wiring that I've got here, I've got the wrong way around. Um, and I bet you I've done the same on the data. It's, um, oops, let's uh, have a look, shall we? Well, that doesn't seem to be doing what I wanted to do at all. Um, hmm, how strange. Let's uh, put it on a different memory location. And if I change the data... Well, that doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, there's some weird stuff going there. Um, in any case, if I now put it into program mode, we can at least test to see if the program is going to work. So if I press the button for program mode, and it goes, I can set an address, so we'll set address 1, and this is just random data that's in the memory at the moment. Um, I should be able to set whatever I want to go in here. So we'll set 66, why not? And obviously that's, um, that's hexadecimal, and I'll press the program button. Oh, I see. Right, yeah, of course. So the... Data bus isn't showing everything that the data bus isn't showing what's in. Oh, I don't know. Once I've programmed it, it's showing the data on on these switches. So if I put the switch these switches in a position and then press the program button, that's when it shows the data that I've programmed not before. So if I mess around with these, so if I change it to something other than 66, you can see down here that it's uh, 44 and that's but it's still showing 66 on here if I press the button it's now showing 44 um, which is interesting just out of interest uh, I don't know why it's doing that that's a bit weird I've got some connection issues there obviously um, so this is now 0F so if I press the program button and fascinating Again, I've got, it looks like I've got the wiring the wrong way around on the, um, well, on this chip. Um, but I've also got an LED that's not working here. Um, can I make it work? So that's that one. So that's so it's probably this one that's the problem. Hmm. What does it come on now? Yeah, there's definitely a, a connection issue, and I think the connections issues with with um, either yeah, it's it, it's this switch here, I think, which is the connection issue, and which is probably fair because I did cock up this wiring here and had to rewire it, so I may have rewired it wrong. So I've um, fixed the wiring. Um, wiring at the top here, you can see the it's all it's all very messy uh, now some point I suppose I might have to rewire it properly but yeah it's now working if I flick the little switches down here you can see that they appear in the right locations um, I've added a, another resistor network down here just to pull this intermediary the sorry just to pull the data bus down to zero when this is disabled uh, and that just stops it floating around um, 
there was already one of those over here on the um, address bus uh, in order for these dip switches to work and I just forgot to put it in for that one. That seems to have cured some of the problems I was having with um, the data bus down here, um, but not necessarily all of them. I have figured out why when I put uh, values on here, they're not appearing up here until I press the program button, and it's to do with the data that's already in the in the memory. These dip switches are on the same connections as the outputs or the data uh, the data pins on the memory, um, and so they're 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 in contention essentially. Um, but as soon as you press the program button, just to prove me wrong, oh, not in program mode. Okay, as soon as you press the program button, it overrides what's in the mem what the memory's putting out and puts on what's on the switches. And that's kind of how you'd expect memory to work. So I don't think there's anything wrong there. Um, other than that, I, I think... I think it's working, you know. So if I program that value in there, and if I change the address to something else... Then programming a different value. Oops. Program. You can see that goes in. If I then go back to the old value, or well, let's take it out of a uh, program mode and do it up here. So just call in the address. And I don't know why that's not lighting up. Oh, probably because I'm not in the right place. So that was that one, and this was the other one, wasn't it? No, the other one was that one. In any case, that I, I'm sufficiently convinced. Oh, I can see the address down here, actually. I'm sufficiently convinced that the memory's working, um, which is great. So, like I said, the next the next video will be on the program counter, which is going to replace this bit. Um, and it'll be another board at the top here. Uh, so I'm quite, quite, quite pleased with myself, really.